Rust Martin RM1C versus the original, well, I guess sec Gen 2, but the ARX Delta Gen 2 MOR. These guns are strikingly similar uh, to the point of interchangeable parts. Which one is better and why? We're going to try to find out coming up next on GB Gun. So the way this works, this is my 11 shot test. It's real quick, it is not definitive, it's not entirely scientific, but it could, should give us some good talking points to discuss things. Seven yards back from a IPSC target, I've got a bullseye on the head at which I will throw five rounds for a quick group, erring on the side of speed, but still trying to group, then move down to the torso for a six shot dump, Doing this under time, looking roughly at splits, you guys are going to be looking at gun control, so it kind of lets us see how it moves in the hand, and I will be able to give you a little thoughts and feels. Before we get started, the disclaimers. To be fair, each of these two guns, they're not 100% anag ana analogous? Analogs. I don't know. I'm having an English failure. I'm leaving this in the video. Yes, they're not 100% equals, though the design is the same. Uh, you saw in the article, the weights are slightly different. Also, uh, the Delta has a lot more rounds through it because I've taken it to a training course. So it's a little more broken in, whereas this guy is fairly fresh out of the box. Advantage on the RM1C is I just finished filming the shooting impressions video. So my hand and my finger knows this gun better. However, I've got more time with this. Advantage on the Arex also is that the large backstrap comes up here to fill the web to create, for me, a more ideal trigger reach. That's not an option on the RM1C, so I'm going to have to run with a stupidly oversized hands on the gun kind of scenario. And the disadvantage on this is that it's running a red dot and I'm, I'm an iron shooter guy. So slight sight change there, but this is mounted and zeroed and I ran a course with it and it's been there, so I'm not taking it off. And I figured that might help balance this. So as we get to it, I'll start the timer. We'll run through. I think I'll do the AREX first. I'm not sure if that gives it an advantage or not. I did just put five rounds for the AREX just because I hadn't shot it in a few months. So it's kind of in my memory, but it's not to the same point as the RM1C, which I just finished filming a whole video on. And again, though not 100% scientific, this the idea of this is uh, to get some conversation points going from your observations and mine while doing some type of standard drill that I've done on other things. I'm all about protocols. Here we go, starting from a high ready. Total time with the where the dot, where's the dot moment was 641. Splits 0 0.2, 0 0.22, 0 0.21, 0 0.21, 0 0.19, 0 0.20. Pretty much my standard cadence of fire with most of the guns in this. What I felt was as I started to go quicker and the gun drove into my hand, I felt familiarity and I felt comfort and it felt very easy to control. You guys, please comment on what you saw since you got to see it from the 90 degree side. But to me, that felt pretty darn easy. Next up is the RM1C that I've more recently shot, spent more recent time with. It's worth noting uh, that I changed ammunition before starting this test, forgot to mention that earlier. Since I just shot the RM1C with the Sterling 115 grain, which is in my testing very soft ammunition, I swapped to the Browning 115 grain, which is uh, middle of the road energy, at least out of the 24 loads that I've now tested. So it's more of a standard load, thinking that will give this gun a little less familiarity since I just filmed a whole video on it. I felt a difference. I definitely felt a difference. There was, uh, the recoil on this gun was less comfortable for me. Uh, let me know what you guys saw, if it looks like I had less control of this, but um, it certainly was slamming in my, slamming on my knuckle. Um, and I, well, I didn't lose control of the gun. I felt not as ready as quickly. 
let's see what the timer says 652 and 0 0.20 0.20, 0 0.22, 0 0.22, 0 0.3 on the swap. So um, I did shoot slightly slower with it uh, and my total time was slower because of that increased recoil sensation, which is interesting because the makeup of the guns is practically the same. The A-Rex is a little bit, I believe a little bit lighter, um, but the A-Rex also has a different grip that fits my hand a little better so maybe that's where I'm feeling the difference is because that back strap goes up in the tang and gave me that reach. It also was changing where the gun was hitting on my hand. Huh. Well, for me, between these two, I would take the A-Rex. Nothing wrong with the Ross Martin, but I felt better with the A-Rex in this quick test. I hope this, guys, this gives you guys an indication of something. I would love to hear your observations on it. It's, uh, you know, even though obviously I view these things before I publish them, because I have to edit it. <laughs> the, uh, it's still, I'm seeing myself, it's sort of like when you write something and you proofread it the first time, your mind already presents what you thought you wrote down. And so it's very easy to miss errors. Someone else looks at it and finds all kinds of errors that you just read right past. Uh, same thing happens. So let me know what you guys observed. Uh, I think this is interesting comparison. I bet the Rost Martin is more comfortable for carry but for me anyways, the Delta was more comfortable for shooting um, and I shot better with it than I did with the Ross Barton. I don't know, let me, let me know what you guys thought, think. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.